So for this example, we want to verify that sine of 3 theta is equal to 3 sine of theta minus 4 sine cubed of theta. Okay, that's not great. We have a lot of pieces that we're not super familiar with, including that square. Um, we don't have a lot of options for dealing with a sine squared other than the Pythagorean identity. And, well, that doesn't look like it's going to help us very much because that's a cubed, actually, not a square. Hmm. So let's see if there's anything we can do with that left side. I don't know why that keeps being our go-to. It's not always what you do, but in this case, the pattern continues to hold, where on that side, we have sine of 3 theta. I'm going to break that up into sine of 2 theta plus theta. And I understand when it comes to this sort of logic, a lot of it feels like magic until you start to understand what I'm trying to do what you're trying to do as you're getting practice. Essentially, we start from something that we have no real clue how to handle and say, well, what can we do to this that takes the least work but can bring into play things that we know? So we want to be able to get some things here in terms of double angles and, well, we can get a double angle, and we'll get a sum of angles in there, too. It'll look a little weird, because we have a lot of thetas to chase around, but these are both things that we know. So what we'll end up with is sine of 2 theta times cosine of just 1 theta, how lonely, plus cosine of 2 theta, well, that's much better, times sine of 1 theta. Okay. Now it seems like we're getting somewhere. Because we got a sine of 2 theta. We can do sine of 2 theta things to that. And we got a cosine of 2 theta that, oh, we've got plenty of options for that. Very exciting. Where in this case, that sine of 2 theta, because we're kind of stuck with what we've got there, will turn into 2 sine of theta, cosine of theta, times cosine of theta. And that's always a good sign when you get the same thing. Hooray, matching. It means we're on the right track. Second term, though, well, I've got a few options. Um, and what I see there is there's a sine, there's a cosine, and the angles did it. I don't like that. So I want to be able to turn this into something with sines. So I'm going to use this third term. Generally, when we're talking about these substitutions, we want the most amount of things possible to match. And this might not be the worst candidate in the world, but down here, all we're going to have after multiplying this through is more signs, and we'd like to keep things as simple and consistent as possible. So, I'm going to turn that cosine of 2 theta into a 1 minus sine, oh, 1 minus 2 sine squared of theta times sine of theta. And, hmm, well, if we multiply this out, we get 2 sine of theta cosine squared, get theta in there, of theta plus sine of theta minus 2 sine cubed of theta. Okay. We've got two of our sine cubed of theta. So it's a good sign. Ah, ha, 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 ha. But we still got a cosine. We don't want cosine. We want all sine. Well, we can use the Pythagorean identity to get rid of that cosine, where we would get 2 sine of theta times 1 minus sine squared of theta. And we still have 1 sine and 2 sine cubes. We haven't done anything to yet. Now we're going to multiply this in, and we're going to see that a little bit of magic happens, and we get to where we need to be. Because we'll have 2 sine theta times 1 minus 2 sine theta times sine theta. So you get a sine cubed of theta. Fancy. Plus a sine of theta minus 2 sine cubes. Hey, we get what we want. And that's the sine thetas. And we got three of them. 
match sine cubes, and you've got negative four of those. And as improbably and convolutedly as our route was to get there, we have what we're looking for. Three sine of theta minus four sine cubed. This is essentially the flavor of anything we do with these double angle formulas. It's just push things around where we like to try and condense to repeated things as much as possible. We like repetition more than we like, well, random assortments of things like we have up in here. But it's really all we get to see when it comes to the double angle formulas. So next, we're going to talk about our power-reducing formula.